When Fortnite released its replay mode, it opened up a whole new set of opportunities for creative expression inside of the game, and one of the aspects of that has been capturing screenshots inside the replay mode and then applying some photography techniques to them and really making them stand out as pieces of artwork that really show off the beauty of the game. And in this video, we're going to be talking about how you can take your screenshots and take them to the next level and create some really standout Fortnite artwork. Now, we're not going to be covering the basics of using replay mode in this video. There's plenty of videos that already do that, but we're going to be getting more in depth. We're going to be talking about settings to use, some tools you can use, and some creative methods and mindsets that you can get into for capturing some of these really stunning screenshots. So I play Fortnite at 1080p, 60 frames per second. Now, I capture Fortnite at completely different settings. Now, if you're on console, you may not have access to higher resolutions or some of these extra little tweaks that I'm going to show you, but some of the later stuff you can still apply to your techniques. Now, I capture at 4K resolution. I lower the frames to 30 frames per second because 4K is very intensive and you actually don't need 60 frames a second when you're capturing screenshots. I make sure my render resolution is also at 4K. Now, don't worry if you don't have the ability to capture 4K screenshots because you can still capture some beautiful shots at 1080p. But as you can see in this visual representation, you get a lot more pixels with 4K and that really helps later on when you're editing the images. Now, if you're on PC and you're playing on a 1080p monitor, you can still capture 4K screenshots in replay mode by using NVIDIA's Dynamic Super Resolution or AMD's Virtual Super Resolution. This allows you to capture 4K resolution while still playing on a 1080p monitor, and I'll leave links to both of those in the description of the video. Now, the tools I use to edit my screenshots are Photoshop and Lightroom. Again, you do not have to have these exact tools, and there are many other options, and there's actually some free ways that you can still get these amazing results. One of them is by using Affinity Photo. This is a one-time paid-for application, or you can use a free application like GIMP. And if you put enough time into learning these tools, you can produce the exact same results that you would be able to get with Photoshop or Lightroom. Now, when I edit with Photoshop, typically what I'm doing is I'm isolating certain parts of the photo, making a selection, and then I'm introducing new aspects to the composition. And you can also use it to remove certain parts of the photo that you don't think really add to the artwork. And I use Lightroom to apply some filters and edit all the little uh, settings like shadows, saturation, contrast all that good stuff and this allows you to really change the way that Fortnite looks and present it in a new way and that new way can often be really interesting to people that are looking at your screenshots. You really have total creative control when you get into these editing tools. Another way to ch change your screenshot game is to change your creative mindset. In 10 seconds I was able to capture these three screenshots that I really like. I was going to throw the grenade, the grenade is sailing through the air and then the grenade hits its target. Now this all happened within 10 seconds, but I was able to get three different screenshots that I really like within that 10 seconds just because I was thinking of all the potential for angles and different ways of approaching the scene. Another creative mindset to get into is the same mindset that you get into when you buy a new skin for the game. When you buy a new skin, it's really exciting because you've got a new visual uh, side of the game, but really focus on that new visual. After you've bought a new skin, focus on just capturing screenshots for that skin. Use the same excitement that you got from buying that skin and then use that in creating the artwork to represent that uh, same kind of uh, creative expression. So thanks so much for uh, watching this video. Hopefully you got some ideas for how you can take your Fortnite photos to the, uh, to the next level and really make some nice artwork. And if you have any questions about anything that I've talked about in the video, feel free to uh, get in the comments and ask me because I'm more than happy to, uh, to help you understand this a bit more. So thank you so much for watching. And if you like this content, you may want to check out some of my other videos. And if you really like this style, you may want to consider subscribing. Thanks so much and have a great day.